So, um, <laughs> speaking of speaking of wrestling in Florida, um, it looks like TNA Wrestling is looking for a new home, and it seems as if they are interested in moving their tapings to Full Sail University. Now, we all know Full Sail as the former home of WWE NXT when it was in its 1.0 phase. So I wanted to know, how do you feel about TNA Wrestling potentially moving to Full Sail? For them, that's still progress. Um, and I love the Full Sail crowd. Like, like I know we, we, we always talk about, um, you know, New York or Chicago or this town or this town. But Full Sail, I love the energy Full Sail brought to the ring because they were like true wrestling fans. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when it came to Full Sail, I love the fact that like they um, they were very patient with whatever wrestler was coming out and debuting over there. I just feel like they just have a different appreciation just for like the art of wrestling. So I feel like it's still progress for a TNA, but it's interesting you know, because mm -hmm. I feel like TNA sometimes like um, dabbles with a little bit of like New Japan. They dabble a little bit with AEW. They dabble a little bit with WWE. And it's just like it's like this their way of just moving up the ranks by slowly acquiring like, you know, their scraps and making it work until they could get up there again. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I look at it as a, a, a progressive move for them. What do you think? I think it's great. Um for those not aware, uh, TNA Wrestling uh, has been a big aficionado of studio taping wrestling. And we can go back to the Asylum in Nashville. Um, but most notably, their, their biggest era was in the Impact Zone, which took place at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. So in a way, this kind of serves as a homecoming for them. Because they are um, coming back to Florida. They're coming back to Orlando to do some studio taping wrestling. And you're right. Like the NXT crowd or the crowd down there has a deep appreciation for wrestling. I remember any time we saw somebody debuting, the pop that they would get. I mean, we could – the one time James Storm showed up, his pop. Leo Rush when he debuted, his pop. Samoa Joe when he made his debut, his pop. So this is a very in-the-know crowd. They're a very smart crowd and a very, very passionate crowd. And I think that it's going to do wonders for TNA Wrestling. I think it's going to be a great move. And I also feel like a big part of their future expansion is just going to be able to, their, their ability to kind of ha just have a consistent crowd and to be able to get to the things that were able to acquire them big talents back in their heyday. One of those things that were able to attract uh, WWE talent was you had a a shorter schedule, right? And so with that short schedule, that usually is rooted in the fact that you're having tapings in one place, and you're doing four to five tapings in one week as opposed to just flying here and flying there. So like the fact that you have a central location in Orlando, in Florida, where a lot of wrestlers live, and you could just knock out three to four tapings in a couple of days, I think is going to be a very, very big green flag for a lot of wrestlers and a lot of other companies who may want to sign with somebody else. That that central location, that hub, and that ability to work a more relaxed schedule, I think is going to be working in TNA's favor. Um, but I think it's going to be great for them. This is, like you said, a very progressive mood, and I'm super excited to see where they go next. But we want to know where you feel. Uh, the Impact Zone is coming to Full Sail University. Let us know in the comments below of how you feel about that, if it is true. But we're moving on. The 